is up YouTube family welcome back for another haircut tutorial today we're doing a high skin fade not taking anything off the top and we're going to go through every step of the way hope you guys can make it to the end of this video because it's gonna be a lot of fun let's get to it as always before you start cutting you want to start by combing out the entire head Make sure you don't have any surprises coming your way and make sure that the hair is ready and prepared to be cut and faded. Next thing we're going to do is create our guidelines. So as you can see, we're going to start the line uh, just a little bit below where the corners meet for the bottom corner of the lineup. And then we're going to bring that line all the way around uh, nice and even and scoop out any hair below with our trimmer. All right, so we are doing a bald fade, but before we start fading, we want to take that electric shaver and bald out all the hair to get it nice and down to the skin before we start fading. And just remember when you're using that electric shaver and you're bringing it up to that line, you don't want to take it all the way up into the line. You want to uh, very lightly kind of scoop out the closer you get to that line. You don't want to make a super hard line with the electric shaver. It's going to make it 10 times harder to bald out or to fade out that line into the skin. All right, the way I like to start my fades is usually by removing bulk first. So we have our one and a half guard on first. We're going up not too high, just enough room to still blend into the top. And we're going to scoop out the closer we get towards the top. So we're not digging in too deep and we're just removing some of that weight. So then that way the fading will be a lot easier to see when we start from the bottom and go up. All right, and I have my number two guard on um, just to remove a little bit more weight so we can see uh, everything just a little bit clearer. And we're scooping out as we're going up. We're not digging in too deep, leaving room to blend. All right, starting with our fade now, we're going to have our half guard on our clipper, clipper all the way closed, and we're going to move up just about a quarter inch. Next, we have our clipper halfway open. We're going up just with the corner stand below that line we just created. And we are lightening up that bottom first line that we created. And we are going to play with that lever and go between uh, halfway open and all the way closed using just the corner. And we are lightening up that line.
All right, and now we're gonna blend uh, the shaver line between that and the skin. We're going to use the corner of our trimmer only and just very gently go ahead and blend that line all the way in. Now with the hardest part being over, we're going to go ahead and uh, put our one and a half guard back on, clip her all the way close, and uh, go up staying below that two line that we uh, created earlier. And then after our one and a half, we put our number one guard on, clipper all the way open. We are going up, staying below the one and a half that we did earlier. And then we are going to play with that lever and uh, gradually close it down using just the corner of our clipper. We are going to fade that line out. So as you can see, um, we used that one and played with the lever, um, opening and closing it to blend that line out. There's still a slight line in there, so now we have our half guard back on, clipper all the way open, and we're going to, I'm sorry, clipper all the way closed, and we are going to gradually open and close it and fluctuate in between there to blend the rest of that line out. And now just gradually opening and closing our lever with no guard, we are going to uh, fade the rest of that line into the skin and make sure it's nice and blended. And now for the top, just to make sure it blends in nicely, we have our number three guard on, clipper all the way closed, gradually opening and closing the lever. We are very lightly 
going up and out. We are not digging deep into the hair because we don't want to go too far and cause any patches. So you go very light up and out. Just remove some of that weight so it gradually just blends in nicely to the two and then one and a half and all the way down. With our two back on, we doing the same thing, opening and closing that lever, making sure we do what we need to do in the areas that are darker to make sure it blends in nicely. And then for the rest of this fade, um, it's a pretty important step, not something you always have to do, but if you feel like there are still some dark areas or there's still a slight line when you're done with the fade, then we call this detail work. At the end, we just put on the guards that we think or no guards that we think that we need to remove any weight or dark areas to make that uh, fade just a little bit more polished and perfect. So we're going to be opening and closing the lever, we're going to be throwing on different size guards, we're going to just be making sure it's uh, all flowing nicely and nice and polished and um, that it's going to look good when we turn it into the mirror. So although I'm not going to go over these exact steps of what I'm doing to detail every single part, I highly suggest just watching and seeing what I'm doing because it's still a critical moment in fading and I definitely think um, just watching it and getting an eye for it can be something that uh, might help you pick up on things when you're uh, doing a fade yourself. And for our lineup, we're just lining up the corners. He's not getting a front lineup or anything like that. So just these little swoop corners right here. They're not going to be super dark since it's a high fade. So we did not keep the um, the swoop area. We did not keep that uh, very, we did not keep a lot of hair there. We did not keep it very dark. So it's going to still look clean and stand out a little bit, but it won't be super stand out-ish or sharp or dark or anything like that because it's a high fade. So. So usually when doing a high fade, unless requested, um, you do not keep the area around the temple area super dark uh, to line up. 
But if a client requests that and they want it like that, even with the high fade, then okay, cool, you can give it to them. But otherwise, you would just line it up the natural way that it is um, after just performing a regular high fade. All right, guys, so the first part of the video was obviously the step-by-step -step on how to fade. Uh, this next part, the rest of the video, is pretty much um, me showing you guys um, a different angle of me cutting hair and fading. I still highly suggest that you um, watch this as well um, because, you know, just watching the way my wrist movement is, um, the scooping out, you can kind of see it a little bit better. Um, and stuff like that, you know, it's it, it's a whole thing and you might catch on to certain little things that I do um, That you don't do or that you want to try or whatever um, But I highly suggest, you know, just sticking with it watching the rest of this video um, And yeah, just trying to critique everything that I'm doing because um, Everything can help your fade uh, Everything that I'm doing can, you know, help your fades like one step better. So yeah, just, you know, pay attention to the little things, you know, and um, I hope uh, you like, you know, these different angles that I'm putting out for you guys. <laughs> Thank you.
to everyone for watching this whole video and um, just to add a little side note we did not put any product in his hair we just rinsed it out um, so it's a little bit poofy but this is the after consistency all the way around that's the goal thanks for watching go subscribe Thank you.